five, four, commanded start, two, one. <laughs> There we have it. New Shepard has cleared the tower. Woo! One Earth on your way to space. Oh. They're a great shot Beautiful. of the B3 engine with the sunrise behind it. What a fabulous shot by our drones. And right now the astronauts are experiencing about three Gs. On your screen you can see to the left hand side that long range. And there's Miko, main engine cutoff. Great view. Stand by separation. Oh, and we're getting audio from our Astros. Stand by separation. Okay. Separation. Some messages from our One Earth crew. That separation is confirmed. They are now free to move around the cabin. And welcome beyond the Carmen line, One Earth crew. Congratulations. What a great shot. Oh, man. And those are the drag brakes deploying. That cuts the velocity of the vehicle by half. Capsule descending anomaly. Yeah, that's about 15,000 feet. Booster drag brakes deployed. There's the BE-3 engine reigniting, slowing down the booster for the last part of the landing here. Great drone shot. Look at that. Yeah. And Eddie, you want to talk a little bit about the mathematics that goes into making sure the booster lands at the same spot every single time? Welcome home, New Shepard Booster. Any moment, you'll see those drogues deploy, and after that, you will see the parachutes. There, there go, go the drogues. Right, and those drogue, drogue shoots use, use the air resistance to pull out the main chutes, so that's what we're going to be looking for here. And there go the parachutes. And while the parachutes are essential in providing a gentle touchdown yeah, for the main capsule, deployment it also confirmed. has a retro thrust system. That is at the base of the capsule, which will make that final touchdown even smoother. And we have touchdown. Welcome back, One Earth. 